Finding a nursing home or an assisted living facility for a grandparent can be a really difficult decision. Lisa Benson talked to a Metro woman who believes she made a mistake in choosing the facility she did after her grandfather died there three days after he was admitted. It is a story you will only see here on 41 Action News. Assistant living facilities offer a lot of services, including rehabilitation. A Metro family realized they didn't do enough research after checking their loved one into Manor Care Health Services in Overland Park. How are you doing today? Good. Two? Sit at the bar? Okay. O'Neill's Restaurant and Bar is a place where friends meet on a daily basis. Paul would be here, Jean here. Manager Chrissy Thompson says 83-year-old Eugene Reed is among those friends. Gene always had the house vodka on the rocks. You could not go anywhere without him running into like five or six people he knew. Had a nickname for everybody. The die-hard sports fan watched his favorite teams play at this restaurant in this seat, oftentimes with his granddaughter, Molly Morche. He didn't really have that fun of a nickname for me, but it was just Mall. But yeah, just Mall. Never called me Molly, ever. In December, Eugene complained of chest pains. He spent over a week in the hospital in the intensive care unit. The doctor said that, you know, he was strong enough that they wanted him to move into a rehab facility where he would continue to regain his strength before he was strong enough to come home. Molly says her grandfather's doctor recommended Manor Care Health Services in Overland Park for rehabilitation. Her grandfather told her he had concerns the very first night. He would call for the nurses, he would hit the button and no one would come for, you know, a couple hours. He didn't think he was getting his medication on time. Manor Care staffers called Molly's grandmother three days later and said Eugene had died. Molly drove her grandmother to the facility. When I go over and look at him, I gasp because he has a huge blood red bruise on his nose. And it was not there hours previous. And they couldn't tell us what had happened. Molly contacted 41 Action News after watching Stephen Gordon talk about his mother's care at the same facility. Some of the bruises on her back, they were like going away and new bruises was on top of them. So it's happened over and over again. In 2013, the Department of Health and Human Services rated Manor Care's Overland Park facility below average overall and much below average in health inspections. The last complaint generated inspection was in September of 2014. Manor Care responded saying, quote, we don't believe that our overall rating health inspection score reflects a current snapshot of what is going on at our center. Still, documents 41 Action News obtained show the Overland Park Police Department has 132 incident and investigation reports over a three-year time period, which include allegations of embezzlement, sexual assaults, battery, and several death investigations, including Eugene's. I had no idea that they had so many violations, and I'm sick that I didn't do more research. We contacted Manor Care about our findings. They refused our request for an on-camera interview, but told us their investigating concerns Molly raised about her grandfather's care and said, quote, comorbidities or the presence of more than one disease and medications can lead to redness or what could be perceived as bruises. All medications were documented and delivered to this patient. We reviewed concern logs and did not receive any concerns from the family during the patient's stay. Eugene now has a memorial placard permanently affixed to his favorite chair at his former hangout. It's just been tough because, yeah, none of us were prepared. Just the fact that he was making improvement and then boom. It, it would have almost been easier if he hadn't been steadily getting better. He was a great guy. Doctors list at Eugene's cause of death as congestive heart failure. If you want to do research on a nursing home anywhere in the country, go to our website, KSHB.com. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.